all PMF devices operate and affect the cells based on Faraday's law of induction. In fact, Faraday's law of induction is really the driving force of PMF devices. The faster the magnetic flux changes, which remember we saw means a greater dBdt or a greater flux per unit time, the larger the magnitude of the circulation of this induced electric field in your tissues. And this gives rise to you know ion transport, charge separation, energy production, improved microcirculation, and a lot of the benefits that come from PMF therapy at the cellular level. It is this rapid rise and fall in the signal of the PMF device along with the frequency spectrum of of the PEMF signal, which gives rise to frequency resonances at the cellular level, that is the most important thing when it comes to a PMF device, not intensity. You do not need high intensity, as we've talked about in this course. So I just want to make a note that high intensity PMF devices that use anywhere from 0.1 to 3 Tesla, which is about 1,000 to 30,000 Gauss of intensity, will create circulating eddy currents in your body that are way too strong, kind of like a category 3, 4, or 5 hurricane. And that's a good analogy because hurricanes are also eddy or circulating movements. So you do not want a super strong eddy current at the cellular level because that can damage the cells long term. Yes, your body and your cells can handle it short term, but it's not something you want to be using every day. And it is the physics of this that led the ICNIRP, or the International Commission of Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, to give very clear-cut guidelines as to what are safe levels for PEMFs, or time-varying magnetic fields. I'm going to go through this in another video, but basically these high intensity units are way off in the deep end in the danger zone. Okay, this is, this is again physics and biophysics, and it's, it's a lot of really good experiments and testing done by one of the most respected governing agencies in the world that kind of governs the safety of electric magnetic and electromagnetic fields in the workplace and at home.